welcome back to my YouTube channel, Instagram channel, and I'm back with another video. Today's video, I'm going to my shit. Today's video, I'm going to be making sea moss gel. Uh, this is going to be my first time making my own gel. What's going on? You want us to watch the dinosaurs, it's okay. This is going to be my first time making my own sea moss gel. As y'all know, I do have a sea moss video. Go check it out. I'm trying to make a video. And you in the back screaming. All right, back y'all. I have to get him some to eat so he can go on by his day job. Um, I'm making jerk chicken, chicken, tacos. I seen Ari video and fell in love with the But anyways, today I'm making my own CMOS gel. If you have been subscribed to me, you know I did a CMOS video. And I've taken CMOS for over a year now. And now I'm going to learn how to make my own. And y'all gonna be here to see me do it. So let's go. I got a pound of Brasileria Alkaline, Dr. Savy approved, sea moss and high minerals. This is a pound of it. And I also have a pound, well, this is eight ounces actually of St. Lucius Iris sea moss. And this is Dr. Savy approved as well. You can see the salt from it coming off of this. This is like from the sea, y'all. Like real life sea moss. I got it from Rich Organic Beauty off of Instagram. I will be buying from her more. She hosts sea Seamoss, so I'll put her information below. But I also have these two containers. I'm gonna soak them in. You soak them for 12 to 24 hours. I'm gonna put them in here. And Strain it in here. I'm going to wash them with my hands first, then I'm going to soak them, and I'm going to put them in the refrigerator. I'm going to cover them and put them in the refrigerator. Um, I'm going to use purified, purified water. I also got these cute little jars that I'm going to put them in. This is just for me, you know, I'm making it, and then you never know, you know? I got some stuff up my sleeve, y'all, so just stay tuned. Let me get the water. Wow. All right. Um, I'm going to do a handful. My bad if y'all hear talking in the background. I'm watching the No For Sure podcast, the Be Simone No For Sure podcast. So, I'm going to do this much, like about a handful of the St. Lucian's Irish sea moss. And I'm going to rinse it. Show y'all me rinse. I'm going to rinse it with this water first. And then I'm going to rinse it with the other. My bad, y'all. This is bad as y'all want to see. Y'all want to see it. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna put this in this one. Now, I'm gonna get some of this kind, the Grasaleria. And I'm gonna do a handful of this one too. Start? A year later, this one's gonna be fresh. This is all put together Right. That's the grass on the 
like, was it a question of, like, now it's time to bet on myself? I'm gonna put, they say do it with purified water or distilled water. This is pure life water, so I'm gonna soak them overnight in these. And I also gonna put some lemon in there to soak them, to clean them off too, because they say the lemon, to soak it in lemon to clean it. It looks so cool, y'all. Now we're rinsing the glass of Mario. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it right, because really I can't pronounce either one of them. I'm just saying it the way. I think it's supposed to be said. <laughs> yeah, that way. Okay, so this is the gasoline. When it's so this one is it. I'm just rinsing it in this water and I'm gonna suck it in the purified water. I like the way it feels. Okay. So I have this white bucket for the gasolaria. I'll put it in this one. Oh my gosh, this is hot. Cause I like literally just bought this. I don't know what's going on. Okay. 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 Let me get my lemons. Hold on. Yeah. I gotta go get some more lemons. I only got two left. Okay. Yeah. I gotta go get more lemons. Again, I think at that time moving to LA, I'm in a new place, I'm in a new environment. Why not I only got two. I'm watching this podcast. Let me pause it because I'm not even paying attention. Okay. Let me cut my lemon, y'all. Then I'm going to show y'all. What it looks like. Go. It look like long, but they lemons. I promise you, y'all. They just been in the refrigerator for like a week. But I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. Everything gonna be done with gloves, of course. Okay. So this is what the lemon gonna look like with the lemons in there. I'm gonna pour the water in there. Just a second. Some water, yeah. Okay, so I'm putting this purified water in there, a bottle full. I'm gonna cover that one and let it sit for 12 to 24 hours. This I might let them sit for a little bit and then uh, put new water, you know, just to extra clean it since I'm gonna be the one testing it out first, you know? I wanna make sure it's really clean. Let me put another glove on so I can touch it. Why I got that in there. I might need more water in there because even though it didn't look like it was a lot, it looks like it's a lot now. Yeah. This spread more than this did. I'm gonna add more water to both. One second. Okay, so I added more water to both. And this is how it looks. So I'm gonna cover them and leave them in the refrigerator for 12, or I can leave it on the counter for 12 to 24 hours. And I'll be back with another video. Stay tuned, y'all. All right, so it's been 24 hours, and this is how it looks. 
I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna give it a final rinse. And then we're gonna go ahead and make the gel. Are you hey, this is the same Lucian Irish Sea Mom. This is how it looks now that it has soaked for 24 hours. You see how I only had a handful and it looked like I didn't have a lot and this is actually a lot. So I'm gonna just rinse it over because it was sitting in there or a lot of dirt came off of this. So I'm just gonna see some more. And I'm gonna put it back in there. a lot for me to just pull out a little bit and then it come out like this. I don't know if my jars can hold it down. That's how I got like different size jars. But yeah. All right. And this is the Grasa Ladia. Oh, that's a little slimy. This is a lot too though, y'all. Hold on. Let me pour this out. Working with one hand. Always. Okay. Let me get these lemons out. I'm still squeezing the lemon on it. All right, I'm gonna run this through some water to like extra rinse it. I can tell this gonna be a lot of gel too. All right, I'll be right back. One second. All right, I'm back, y'all. So this, I'm gonna put my feet marks in here, and I'm gonna put uh, water to it to make the gel. Put it to where y'all can see it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna start with the same loop chain Irish sea moss first. Add the sea moss in here. It don't look like it's all gonna fit, y'all. But I'm for sure gonna have to make all of it. Real kind. Add the water. I'm gonna add a, a little water at a time. Blend it and then add some more. Alright, so we have it in the blender. Okay, so I added more water. You gonna press it? 
Okay, so this is the final thing. This is the St. Lucius RFC Moss. This is the Ground Solaria. I told y'all I made a lot of that. So I had to put in another container. I'm going to put them in the refrigerator and let it be refrigerated probably for like 24 hours so it all can come together in that gel form. Because this is kind of like watery. So I know if you put it in the refrigerator, it'll come together. So that's all for today thank y'all for watching i made my first cmos gel hope y'all enjoyed stay tuned for more bye all right good morning y'all so i'm gonna try some of the cmos for y'all i let it sit in the refrigerator overnight and it came together um the grass area it was a lot watery but it did come together um making more of like a gel form but i do think that once it sits in the refrigerator more it'll come together more like how this one is like stuck like not coming out of there but anyways i'm gonna try some for y'all it's the morning i'm gonna try some for y'all and yes i'm gonna rush my feet once I'm done, I'm not going to brush my teeth and then try some because then I'm going to have the toothpaste taste in my mouth. So I'm going to try some and then I'm going to brush my teeth. Um, since this is my first time trying the, uh, trying the St. Lucian Iron Moss, this one right here, I'm probably only going to take one teaspoon at a time because you could take up to three teaspoons a day. But since this is going to be my first time trying that, I'm going to just start off with one. I'm probably going to start off with one with both because I never tried this brand, Grossolaria Sea Moss as well. So I'm going to I'm gonna consume it slowly by taking one teaspoon a day for like a week. See how my body reacts to it. Then I'm going to up it to two and three a day. Also, your kids can take it too. You can use it on your skin. You can use it in your hair. Yes, I do give CMOS to my kids, but I mix it in their drinks or I mix it with applesauce so they don't even know that, you know? Because kids, they will see this and be like, oh, I'm not trying that. But yeah, if you mix it up and put it in a smoothie or something, they'll drink it. So enough of that. Let me go ahead and try some for y'all. And of course, I'm gonna wash it down with some water because sea moss really don't taste the best, but it's really good for you. That went bad. Alright, so that was the grass scenario. That was the grass solarium. Now, try the other one. See, this is more jelly, like, you know? I'll get a little more. All right, here's the St. Lucia Iris Sea Moss. I'm gonna try this one.
told y'all, Gussie Moss. It don't really taste the best, but it's good for you. This one is like really thick. I wonder what I could do to. I might have to mix this one with my smoothies and stuff because. It ain't that bad, but it's really thick. It's like a really thick gel versus this. I kind of like it thick, though, because it's a gel. But I'm putting them back in the fridge. And they can be stored in the fridge up to two to three weeks. So I have to hurry up and eat these, you know? They're going to get eight because I'm the tester here. That's all. Thank y'all for watching. Do me a favor and like, comment, and subscribe. If you are new here, thank you for subscribing. And if you're, you've been here and you support me, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for watching me. And y'all have a good morning. Bye.